I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. Today, I want to talk about your relationship with your child and keeping it strong and connected. You want to look at your relationship with your child as if you have an emotional bank account with your child. So between you and your child, there's things that you do that put money in the bank and there's things that you do that take money out of the bank. So if your bank account is empty, how do you think your child's going to react when you try to discipline them or you need to go somewhere or it's time to ask them to do something? Well, if that uh, emotional bank account is empty, chances are they're going to go ballistic, they're going to fight, they're going to scream, they're going to rebel, and it won't go well. However, if that emotional bank account is full, then when you need to tell your child to do something or it's time to go somewhere or maybe you're short-tempered and accidentally yell or something like that, it's not going to cause such a negative reaction. The kids are going to be able to handle it. So it's really important to keep that emotional bank account full during good times so that when you are under stress, the kids can manage it well. So what are some of the things that we do to take money out of the bank account? Well, definitely yelling at them does it. Also not having time for them. So if we're not spending enough quality time with them every day, that can take money out of the bank account. Not valuing them or their opinions or their thoughts or the things that matter to them. Making sure that that you really acknowledge things that are important to them even if they're not important to you. Punishing them. Doing things that are erratic or seem not fair or unrelated to discipline situations that are unrelated to what they've done wrong. Those types of things can also take money out of the bank account. And other things that are beyond your control can as well, but we're not going to talk about those today. But just know if your child is undergoing any kind of stress, maybe they're having medical procedures or some extra stress at school, that those are times where it could appear that the money's being taken out of your emotional bank account between you and your child. Even though it's not really, uh, those things will stress kids out and cause them to misbehave and have problems. So what are some things that we can do that put money in the bank account? Well, definitely doing genuine encounter moments. So spending direct, focused, 100% attention on your child, that's a really important way to put money in the bank account. And if you do one gem per day per child, you're going to have an emotional bank account that always has money in it so that when you need to take money out, you've got it available. Also, just spending quality time with your kids, just hanging out with them, going to the park, playing, having a good time, being silly, laughing with your children. Laughter, smiling, all of that really puts a lot of money in the bank between you and your kids. Also, listening, really listening to them and having time to hear them out, to let them tell you why something matters to them or let them tell you how important something is to them and really hearing what they have to say and acknowledging them. And that's another great one too, is appreciating things that they do. So when they are doing what they're supposed to do, to really appreciate what they're doing and be specific, give it, give it words. So today, what you want to do to make your relationship better is do things that put money in your emotional bank account with your child. So look for opportunities to appreciate them, to acknowledge them, to spend a little extra time with them, to smile at them, and most likely you'll have a great day. Happy parenting. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Debbie Godfrey, owner and founder of PositiveParenting.com. I hope you'll go and check out my website and follow me on Instagram and let me know about what you thought about today's episode. Did you learn something new? Were you able to do something different with your children? Did you have a success story? Those are my favorite to share. Let me know. Contact me. I'd love to hear from you. And also, what future topics would you be interested in hearing about on the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast? Thank you so much for being here and for all of your support. Take care and happy parenting. Thank you.